this video I'm going to show you how to comp multiple tracks at the same time. Essentially anything that needs to stay in time and in phase and uses multiple tracks, this is how you comp them together. So to turn on comping, first of all hit the P key and look for the project tab down the left here and under record just make sure comping is on in the recording mode. In this example, I'm going to play in two bass takes. I'm then going to duplicate the tracks to make three tracks and that's going to sort of simulate bass DI, bass amp and a bass chorus. That's just going to give us three tracks to comp at the same time. I'm going to do two different takes that are going to be a bit different stylistically and then we're going to comp them together. So when you're comping, every take stores in the track's take lanes. You get to the take lanes by clicking this button. You can see take 1 and take 2. So I'm just going to open up all the take lanes. What you want to do is you want to select every single take 1 by holding the control key. Then right click in any clip body and hit create selection group from selected clips. Now do the same with all the take twos. So now all the takes are grouped. You can do this with as many takes as you want. It basically just makes sure that if something happens to one clip, the rest of the clips follow suit. So for example, if I mute the bass amp take one, all of the take ones mute. So now we've got them grouped, it's time to start actually comping this a bit. So I'm just going to work off the bass amp here. And it's good practice to put like a loop region around the part you're going to comp. So I've already got one set up here. So when it comes to comping, hover over the bottom of any clip and you'll see this symbol pop up. It's a sort of blade tool and you can select what part you want to comp. You can also switch between takes with it. And as everything's already grouped, the same thing will be happening on the other tracks. I think here, on this beat, I'll try bringing in a bit of take two. And all you need to do is highlight like this. And as you can see, the comp is now going to flick from take one to take two back to take one. So let's listen to that. One other change I want to make, I am going to flick back to take two here and just run that until the very last note. So if we zoom out, we're starting with take one, going to take two, back to take one, back to take two and ending on take one. 
So we'll just listen to that full part. That sounds alright to me, especially for this example. So I'll just collapse the take lines and I'll go into the base DI just to show you the same things happened there. Like you can see, the exact same comp as the base amp. And just to make sure, the base chorus has done the exact same thing. Now we've got everything comped the way we like, we are going to flatten the comp. Flatten is essentially another name for bounce when it comes to comping. So to do this, highlight every clip, open any take lane, right click at the top and look for flatten comp. You can also delete the muted clips. I wouldn't recommend that you do that because sometimes you need to go back and fix a comp. So just go with flatten comp. now we can hit all the tape lines to close them and as you can see things have been bounced and the clips have been locked and if you go back into the tape lane all that's done is it's made a new take called comp and it's soloed that so you're now listening to the comp version i hope this has been helpful if you've got any questions just drop them in the comments and i'll try and get back to you